I'm bringing you along on my triathlon journey. We're here at John Jay Pool, John Jay Park. This is a very special place for me. This is where I do my training. It's a public pool open to the public. Uh, every morning, lap swim, 7 to 8, 7 to 8 p.m. as well. And I'm just very grateful for this place, for all the amazing staff that are here that are so friendly and helpful. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys this amazing spot where all the aquatic magic ha happens and uh, enjoy. I'm gonna get a little swim action going so you guys can see. Thanks to the photographer, Katie. This is my first time ever running between two states. I'm gonna be running from Ohio, which is over here, to Kentucky, which is over here. And I'm documenting this moment for you. Oh, and what I forgot to tell you is that now I've run between two states and bike between two states. New York and New Jersey. First, first, first. Enjoying the flow, enjoying the process. Yo, we're here, we're here, we're here with the man. Mm -hmm. 75 triathlon. This is my triathlete here. right here. He's gonna do his first this one. This is my trainer right here, baby. Keeping me safe and, yeah, and, and I'm ready on that advice. bike. This is the guy, 75 triathlons. Yeah. Love this. That's John Hussein. 75. Say what's up, baby. What's up, baby? We what made it. That's our man. I mean, we're gonna do this it. We're is gonna, my man. This is my man, baby. That's it right here. New York City bike hey, rental. Melinda's back, you know? Melinda's back right now? She's here? We're gonna go say what's up to Melinda. This is the place right here, guys. If you ever want to rent a bike, this is where you should come. 7th Avenue between 58th and 57th. John, Hussein, Melinda. I'll take you into Melinda right now. Right now. Right now. This is the spot. It's where the magic happened. Melinda, say what's up. Say what's up, Melinda. Say what's up to the people. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> 4 55 a.m. in Manhattan, September 22nd, 19, 2019. What's up guys, just finished the New York City Triathlon here in Rockaways, uh, just really excited, this means a lot, I just wanted to really quickly give a quick minute of inspiration that you really can do anything you want, you know, I I'm not a runner, I'm not a biker, I haven't been on a bike in so many years, I haven't ever run competitively, uh, swimming in the ocean, swimming open water, all of these things were brand new to me. I'd never done any of them. And so today marks a first. And, and I wanted to do it for a few reasons. Number one, to hopefully inspire you to find something that you care about, that you maybe don't think you can do, that maybe stretches you a little bit outside of your comfort zone, that maybe doesn't feel great in this moment, because you can do it. And, and I'm proof. And that's number one. Number two, just a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication went into this. Eating super clean, uh, carving out time to exercise, figuring out ways to make things happen for, you know, busy work schedule and training. Um, number three, we're in the Rockaways. The Rockaways are super important to me. If you guys know any of my content, you know that the Rockaways are where I spent many, many, many of my law school days. I spent my birthday here last year and I watched the sun come up and if I would have told you or someone would have told me that I'd be within this year 36 running and doing a triathlon, I would have been like, no way. Just another message for all of you guys. And then just the support of good people around you. Um, Amazing, amazing people from, from from friends, from family, from my amazing triathlon coach who is taking this video, Melissa Trusty. Like, just people that care so much about your success. And um, so, right here from the New York City Triathlon, Rockaway Beach, I want you to know that whatever you want to do, even if it feels a little scary, even if it feels a little bit out of your comfort zone, go for it. Push yourself a little bit harder than you think you can because on the other side, on the other side of sacrifice, is glory. On the other side of resistance is magic. So go find it. Today we did here, September 22nd, 2019, New York City Track. Oh, and by the way, for all of my friends out there wondering, yes, I am 100% vegan. Yes, I am powered by plants. I've never been stronger. I've never been faster. I've never been more in shape. I've never felt better in my life than I do in this moment at 36. I was a college athlete, and I'm just as strong now as I was then when I was eating all the animal products. So for any of you that are wondering if it is possible to thrive 
in endurance athleticism, in, in sports in general, in feeding your body with healthy fuel, it is not only possible, but optimal. So if I can help any of you transition into a plant-based lifestyle, it is unbelievable how much you can do. And it's again, just busting myths. Everything that you've been told, everything you think is true, testing that, right? Flying, like that airplane, flying into the next dimension, flying into that next level. Because for me, in the last 15, 16 months of being plant-based, it's been the best decision ever. And today just reaffirmed it. So I really want you guys to think about the fact that it is possible to be so fueled, so optimal, all powered by